we filmed our crypto turnstile. We've got a crypto turnstile. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope this year will be better than last. Yeah. But been watching a lot of John Wayne films these holidays, <laughs> and he never surrendered. <laughs> No Surrender Avenue, come Thank on for you. 24. Come on Avenue. So hello there everyone, Happy New Year to you all. I hope everyone has a great 2024 and it's our first live commentary of Bradford Park Avenue in 2024 and it's none other than a local derby, a local West Yorkshire derby between Bradford Park Avenue and Geisley. It is myself, Samuel Rice, joined by Arthur Dippard, Northern Premier League encounter between the two West Yorkshire rivals and last time Arthur we did this game all the way back in August at Geisley. It was a thriller. Two to four goals, four red cards, two each for both teams. An absolute thriller. Well, the form look has changed for both teams since then but this is obviously a massive game for both teams undoubtedly. Yeah, huge game for both teams. Good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon everyone at home happy new year yeah park avenue looking to get that first win under new head coach danny whittaker be interested to see what today's west yorkshire derby brings hopefully it's as fiery as the last one it's a cold one out there i'm glad we're inside with this heater <laughs> on us so it's a cold one but it's a nice day it's been nice i think it's the first day that's not rained in what seems about a month or two as uh Geisley will get us kicked off in just a moment's time well, keep us we are about to kick off and now we do the referee blows the whistle and Jacob Graham has made sure we do get underway and it's guy in the game, it's across from the left, is it? It's deep, it's not going to go out of play though. For a goal kick, ball's on the left-hand side. This could be danger up against the Dunstan. Ball goes in, it's at the back post. Oh, and it's very, very close. And then he goes over the top though towards Hay. That's not a bad ball. Hay goes to get there, the ball's headed back. It's not convincing. Hay's in! Oh, oh. He's it. oh, that was a bit of a mix-up between Ollie Brown and Oliver Battersby actually. The number two heads it back to his goalkeeper. The ball doesn't have enough legs on it. Lewis, hey, never gives it up in fairness to him. It's a little bit of a tight angle, admittedly. He smashes it across the face of goal, but the ball just goes wide. That is a let-off for Ollie Brown there. Back position, but now, guys, they go forward as the new signing of Soto receives the ball. Johnson driving. Here's Johnson on the ball now. He goes to the right-hand side. This could be a chance for Rick Polo. It's not the best delivery, though. And this could be a chance to come forward for Denton. Denton finds Johnson. Johnson goes to the left-hand side to Obasoto. And now he can maybe play one into the back post. He does. It's going to go... Oh, it actually nearly found the... So the goalkeeper, actually, Scott, had to get something on that. Yeah. Bit of a cross come shot, the cross does come in and the goalkeeper Scott gets something on it. The ball falls though to Obasoto again. This could be a chance for him to cross. It is to the back post and a Dunstan gets something on it. It'll be another corner for Geisley. And all of a sudden it's Geisley who are in the ascendancy. Hits on it there and didn't. It's been taken quickly, the corner as well. It's going to be a left foot. Oh, that's a bit of a waste in the end though for Geisley. And he uh, launches it towards the penalty area. It's not a bad one. Denton goes to get there. It comes off, but well, it came off Denton last according to the referee and the linesman. That will be a goal kick. I think it's uh, going to be... Oh, it's played back on, Preston. Could have a chance here. A bit of a loose back pass. Preston into the area. He's full start wide for now, though. In fact, I think the Gasly defender's done quite well on that occasion. How are you giving it that way? He's given a throw towards uh, Geisley, actually. Preston no, the referee's Preston. overturned oh, no, it. The referee has overruled him. I mean, the linesman's standing right in front of it. So I don't know how he's uh, managed to miss that and be overruled by his... Uh, referee but the linesman was standing right next to the two players one thing i did clock about that linesman when he was warming up is he's got one of the most peculiar haircuts i have ever seen on a linesman oh, that's fair play i haven't said i've seen it yet so, uh, at, the, at the far end of the field so unfortunately i can't comment on that right now as the balls throw into the penalty area that will be headed away though by tong and the clearance is going to be completed only as far as a dunce and that uh, one hits right. the referee actually and uh well we'll speak about the lines in one moment the referee the next the officials are getting involved at the moment and he can play one forward. It's not a Go bad on, ball over the top towards Lewis Hay, and it might bounce well for him, actually. Hay couldn't quite get the shot yeah. away. Does football up in the air, though. Not a bad ball. It's Jim. Osadibe. Osadibe on the volley. Can he get it? No, he can't. It's blocked. Ooh. Hay with a shot. It's then blocked oh, again. No. And that this is danger now, because Kofi Moore's in space, and he can come forward. And this could be real danger. The number seven for Geisley is quick. He's got options with him. Kofi Moore. Rich. Good. And Kofi Moore, does he get to the rebound? No, he doesn't. That's good play. Lewis Hay's getting really high. He was the highest person up the field for Park Avenue there. The ball comes in for guys the Kofi Moore going up for the header but it's well won by Hay and it goes out wide now to Ollie Brown swing the ball back into the area looking for Denton they're wrestling each other and Johnson ends up getting highest and nodding the ball just rolling out for a goal kick he's had his most effective game so far Gabriel Johnson but oh, a man who scored so many goals a corner comes in the header goes in save. that's the really good save by the goalkeeper it was headed by Reese Kendall I believe at the back post 
He's been the one crossing the ball in most of the game on this occasion. He got his head to it, and that's a good save from Tom Scott to tip it wide, but there'll be another bite of the cherry for Geisler. But another ball comes into the middle. It's Kendall who goes for it again. This time he doesn't get his head to it. And now the Park Avenue can actually break as the ball goes down the line to Hay. And Hay goes to go beyond this man. Well played Kofi Moore there, though, putting the ball out of play immediately. Polo, and this could be an opportunity for Geisley. It's with uh, three, Johnson four, now. Three. There is opportunities coming forward. Hits Kendall on the ball. He goes for goal from distance. Oh, what a strike! It's 1-0 to the visitors. And that is a very good strike from Rhys Kendall. He didn't score a moment, few moments ago with his head. He's hit that one like an arrow. But well covered though from a Dunstan. And a Dunstan got a little bit of pressure on him at the moment. He's got to be a bit careful at the moment. He, uh, event is he going to clear it away? No, he's lost it actually because Gabriel, and he's fouled Gabriel Johnson as well. A Dunstan. Liam Tong, it's going to be, it's going to be whipped in. It's uh, header that comes in. It's uh, a couple of guys, players may have got each other's way actually there. It is going to be back to Tong again, who gets another bite of the cherry. That one though is going to be headed away by Osadibe. Avenue, the ball does go long and it's uh, going to be headed is it no it's going to be flicked away from Kendall it was Kendall and Bourne who were competing I feel like I barely mentioned Ethan Bourne in this game so far he's not quite I mean admittedly did only sign earlier today so uh <laughs> should maybe cut him a bit of slack there but uh he's not really had the impact on the game maybe he'd have wanted but there's still plenty Great of time ball. to go ball into the middle and that's going to be caught though by go. Battersby it was a ball in by Mayoko who's looking for Janino Osadibe on a consistent basis anyway as a ball is going to be whipped in by Tong it's on a great one Osadibe gets his head to oh, it and on. hey clears it away and it's now Jordan Preston Go who on. goes out to Lewis Hay there's options right and left he much. goes to his oh he goes to his right I see there's only option to his right in fairness Battersby came out on that occasion did really well in the middle of the park and like I said the driving bodies forward Tong back into Johnson Johnson in the box shot Ooh. oh is it the crossbar that's so close and I say we've not that might actually been a save actually the corner's been given if it was a save it must have been a very good one from the goalkeeper Tom Scott Kendall will loop a ball in towards the area and it bounces around but Preston wins it and now Park Avenue have a chance this is what we were speaking about Sam is that they have a chance potentially to catch them on the break as Preston tries to go forward but too much on the ball from Eddie Mayoko it means that the ball is cleared out it's a ball played forward and he wanted his goalkeeper to come there Ashman he never bit of a miscommunication between defender and goalkeeper and Geisley have given away a cheap corner there goal Oli Battersby is not had much to do in terms of saves today as the corner goes short into off the D-Bay, back to Shanks. Shanks looking to get in the box, dancing, dancing potentially, but it's shielded out of play, is it? No, it's still in the area. Still in the area. Somehow the ball didn't go out of play. There's well done, a lot ball. of players and it's going to be, that's going to be a goal kick on that occasion. Though Park Avenue can't believe it. They're surrounding the referee, three, four players, and it's going to be given as a goal kick in the end. Left-hand side to Obisoto that's a very good pass Obisoto breaking inside he goes to play a ball through there could be an opportunity very good defending from Whiting there because not one but two players were around him Gabriel Johnson and Tom Denton that's very good defending from Whiting to get back and make the clearance but what a pass that was from Tom to the left hand side well, he's had a fine game so far absolutely gorgeous a bit of a daisy cutter although you won't find much daisies on this artificial surface at the horsefall as uh, the half time whistle has gone there 1-0 to Geisley here at the horse wall, but I'll just touch back on it. Defensively for Park Avenue, I don't think they've struggled. I think they've done really well to contain the front line of Johnson and Denton. Of course, Johnson did hit the crossbar around five minutes ago, but that was from an effort from just outside the area. And the goal, of course, was from around 30, 35 yards. Other than that, defensively, Park Avenue have done really well, but like I mentioned, that lack of presence in the midfield has meant that they haven't really been able to break out and get forward and utilize those front keepers. They are ready and the whistle is about to go. For the second half, it does go for the second half. We are underway at the Horsfall Stadium. Second half of this West Yorkshire Derby Northern Premier League encounter between, I think it's a handball there from Chinese Watsadibe early on. And, uh, he was never getting away with that one, was he, Watsadibe? Right. The ball played forward. That's a really nice turn. That's a really good play from Geisley. They're in a good position here. Shot comes in. It's saved by the goalkeeper. And Tom Scott denies him. Do everything but kill the game as the ball is lofted in by Captain Tong. And it's won by centre-half Ashman, but his looping header, trying to find that back stick, runs out of play for a goal kick to be taken by Tom Scott with his left boot. He's got his shooting boots on today, does the guy's well, the captain. Well, Park Avenue have got a generous corner given to them here because it was actually a defensive header by the centre-back, I believe. It might well have been Aidan Walker. The ball is going to be whipped in. It's not a bad one. It's going to be headed, though, by a Geisley head. And Gabriel Johnson gets to the second ball. He can try and bring it away. 
the Geisley top goal scorer. Johnson plays it forward. There's an opportunity for Prince Polo now. Like Polo in a good position. Goes back to Gabriel Johnson again. The ball's out to the right hand side. That's a foul in the middle of the park. It was given away by Johnson. Any of these two players could strike it. It is going to be it is going to be Tong. Tong with a low one. It's not the most convincing. He tried to go under the wall and catch the goalkeeper out. He did go under the wall, but it was straight into the arms of Tom Scott. For a goalkeeper, it goes down in the little notebook. It's a fantastic play from Preston to hold the ball up there from the long ball. And he puts a little one two with it. Eddie Mayoko and he's got a bit of room in front of him now and goes out wide to Vaughan who puts the ball into the area but there's only one man in there Chinedu Osadibu and unfortunately it lofts over his head eventually no one really seems to be warming up at the moment though as the ball is headed away by Lancaster ball headed in by Kendall and oh it was a uh... A header away from a Park Avenue man came back off Denton and eventually they clear it away. And yeah, he does go back to his captain. It's been by. Oh, it's flicked on. It's Denton who gets there. It's flicked away. It's Kendall who goes for it. Does he know he doesn't? He does second Wee. time. And that is not as convincing as his first half strike. I think I dealt with it on that occasion, the Lions, but it's going to be an opportunity to come for Park Avenue. Here's Jordan go. Preston in a good position. Preston, can he get the shot away? He does. It's blocked. That was some at the Park Avenue, though. But now Geisley can maybe counter attack. It's Gabriel Johnson who receives the ball from Tong. Johnson over the top. Looking for his man. Will a Johnston get there? He does. He gets there just in front of Obasoto in the end. And it's headed back to his Composed. goalkeeper by Lancaster. Very good composure from him. Park Avenue on a little bit of a roll now for the first time in the game. Park Avenue is Preston's ball in. It's Osadibe goes for it. The ball's headed away. And again, the second ball, though, is won by Geisley and Gabriel Johnson. Really good strikers play from him. He plays it out to Obasoto. This could be a chance. He's got Kendall on the overlap as well. Obasoto goes beyond his man really well. He's into a good position. Cuts it back. This is a chance. Oh, it's very, very good defending. <laughs> the last, in fact, I think he kicks the ball <laughs> against his man. It's happy yeah. hit him in the face, Liam Tong. Park Avenue, it's going to be whipped in. It's a deep one to the back post. Very deep. In fact, Lancaster heads it forward. It will be headed away by Prince Polo, and uh, eventually the ball's cleared away by Kendall. And Park Avenue just starting to maybe close in a little bit. In fact, Lancaster heads it forward. It will be headed away by Prince Polo, and uh, eventually the ball's cleared away by Kendall. And Park Avenue just starting to maybe close in a little bit. Was that Callum who tried to catch that ball there? No, I think it's no, Callum's no, look-alike. Callum's got a rather... <laughs> in fairness to Callum, he's got a rather dashing coat on today. Yes, it wasn't. Uh, it was. I thought that was Callum for a moment trying to catch the ball, but it's Jordan Preston who's uh, got it just inside the penalty area. He goes out to a Dunstan. Park Avenue starting to build some momentum at the moment. No. It's a long way out. A shot's going to come in. It's not a bad one. It's deflected. It will be a corner. It's a speculative effort to say the least from Ted Lavelle. It was even further out than I think Kendall's goal was in the first half. About to be swung in. Two hands up in the air from Shanks in swinging ball bounces around in the area cleared from Johnson now and it looks like Kofi Moore will try and start a counter-attack all on his own but well run, won by Lewis Hay there and Kofi Moore potentially handballed it there but he's beaten Lewis Hay now and he's driving into the half oh. and he's gone past was it a Dunson there and a Dunson will go into the book there the referee just gave him a I don't really like that for the who does the ref think he is there giving yeah. him the no-look yellow card yeah. thinks he's Mike Dean a no-look yellow card from the referee there it was a Dunstan who just left a trailing leg out by uh, Liam Tong actually who does whip on in it's going to be headed away well though on that occasion by Mayoko then it's Osadibe goes to win it the ball's headed away it finds Preston though and now Preston goes to the left hand side not the best ball though he was beaten to it originally by Tong and uh, and Park Avenue can't break forward there was a counter attack on and now there's another chance and there's that a foul it is a foul there's another yellow card is Connor coming Shanks. here it's Connor Shanks again the referee's note but this time he fouls his man and with that we, had, we literally went 65 minutes about a yellow card in this game We've had two in about 30 seconds, both Park Avenue. And uh, ball is now with a Dunstan. What can he do with it? A nice turn from him. And Dunstan goes out to Miyoko. Will the ball go in? It's a really lovely silky turn from Eddie Miyoko there. And uh, he gets ball. it back from a Dunstan. Plays one in on a bad ball. Headed away. Oh, Another chance maybe. Mason O'Malley. Can ball. he play one in? He can. It's well headed away again. Geisley dealing with it really well when called upon. Flicked on by Johnson towards Denton and a high boot there. And that's a very harsh high boot because Denton had dropped low to head the ball. And he went to put his foot in there, the defender. And the referee gives him a decision Geisley's way. He's got it must be a very high boot to get up there with Tom <laughs> Denton. He must have a very, very cold head at that height. If he's back, fouled there if as Dunstan, well. A Dunstan comes forward. This could be an opportunity. It's Lucas a Dunstan. He foul. goes on. Is that a foul? Yeah, it's the yellow card and a free kick. That's a really good opportunity. Great. Great play from a Dunstan running forward there. Ekpolo. He carried on, carried on. Ekpolo, Prince Ekpolo 
gives it away. He's the referee the blows the whistle. It is Lewis Hay. Oh. Hay hits it into the wall, and that one will go out for, it won't go out for a front corner. My opponent's going to be cleared away from a Geisley man. It's in by Shanks. It's not a bad one. It's going to be headed away. Oh, it was no. in towards Iwobi. It's a great header from Denson when you've got him in the penalty area. Let's keep the ball and hold it up, and now goes Connor well. Shanks on the edge. He's done very well. Connor Shanks goes down. That's a free kick in another dangerous position. Connor Shanks was caught there, I believe. It was like, oh, it's quick, taking wait, it quickly. Wait, Preston, wait. it's a bit wasteful though. Can Preston, Preston get there? Right. No, he can't. And either way, they've still got the ballpark avenue. It's worked out to the right-hand side. Well done, it yeah. will be kept in by Mayoko. Mayoko into a Dunstan. Lucas a Dunstan. Oh. Please, one in. It's too high. Oh, that was a real opportunity. It was a bit too high from a Dunstan in the end. It was brilliant play from Mayoko. He released a Dunstan. He just has to cut the ball back to a dangerous area. He got a bit carried away. It's too high. It eludes everyone and goes out. That, for me, is probably the best chance Park Avenue have had in open play in the game. That's a great chance. And in the end, it comes to nothing. Has to to O'Malley. O'Malley now, ball going to be played in. It's towards Preston. It's a very good header from Rhys Kendall to clear it for a corner. And Park Avenue are starting to put the pressure on. It is going to be whipped into the middle. Not a bad one. Cleared away by the goalkeeper. And then it's then further cleared by Sincere Hall to get a foot in there. And the ball is now going to be worked out to the number eight, Liam Tong. And the ball's been played in again towards Tong. Oh, the volley! Oh, that would have been some wow. goal. It was chipped over to him, Liam Tong. It's definitely played Must a part be. in that one. There's a corner does come in for Geisley. It's headed up in the air. It's going to be cleared away. The head was won by Murphy. And Denton was offside touch. there, but the linesman didn't spot that. No, and the ball's going to be whipped in as well. It's Denton who goes to head it. Oh, it's not got anything on it, though, Denton. That seemed like it was a good chance for the Any delivery, and in the end, his head to it was not convincing at all. Ball's cleared out of play in the end from Ashman for a throw in, but I mean, they have it now with Murphy. Murphy, because he's going to keep the ball in the corner flag for now. He doesn't mind Murphy at the moment. He's trying to win a corner, maybe. The ball still somehow stayed in play. I'm not quite sure how. Eventually, can Park Avenue get it back? They do, and they can try and play the ball. Oh, That's given away. So it's a polo. Just to see up the game. No, he doesn't. He's actually challenged well. Shot comes in. Oh, it's deflected. Oh. It goes just wide. The shot came in, I believe. It was by the number 14, Lee Whelan, who had the shot. See off the game. It is more. He's got options. He get, goes on, has the shot, it's blocked. Sure, he's going to oh, finish the third from Murphy. Murphy has a Great save. What a save, that is. What a save from Scott. And eventually the ball is going to go out for a corner. Turns well. Can Lewis Hay bring it forward? The clock is really not on the side. And the referee has blown the full-time whistle. And it is defeat for Park Avenue on New Year's Day at the Horsfall Stadium on Derby Day against their West Yorkshire neighbours, guys, Lee. Full-time score, Bradford Park Avenue nil, Geisley one. Goal coming after 23 minutes from Reese Kendall. A 30-odd arrow, the difference between the two teams. In the end, of, it's just been one of them days at Park Avenue. They haven't really built anything going forward. It's just been a really tough day for Park Avenue. And Geisley, they'll feel like it's been a good day's work for them. Yeah, definitely. First half was all Geisley. And then there, that 15-minute period after halftime where it looked like they were going to grab a second. Park Avenue did well, though, to grow more and more into the game in the second half in search for that equaliser, but unfortunately just couldn't test Oli Battersby. I don't think he had a save to make and a save to make today. And that's really disappointing. But you know, we're getting there, just still looking for that first win, still looking for that first point, still looking for that first goal of Danny Whitaker's reign. Electric Avenue.